Hey everybody, it's Regina the Happy Crafter. Um, today we're gonna I'm gonna do the video on the gnome boot, and um, let me give you the couple of items that we're gonna need. Um, a piece of felt. I'm using red. You can use whatever color you'd like. Um, a I'm using a old box that um, I've had several several years and we've reused several times. Um, a piece of thumb core board that I have cut that kind of looks like a peanut, but it's kind of a boot shape. And I made mine um, about five inches by two inches because I wanted a substantial size boot, um, a glue gun. And I had gotten um, one of the cute little tree skirts from the Dollar Tree, and this is a part that come off around the edge and look how much you get with this. So, so you get a bunch. Um, and a piece of black felt to use for the bottom, but you can use any color you would like if you want the bottom of your boot to be a different color. And the, um, this that come off the tree skirt, I'm gonna use mine for the little, I made this one last night, the little um, fur to go around the top. So there's those. Oh. Yes, and we need these two things. Um, this is the top of a Gatorade bottle, and this is an ornament that um, that got broke. So, and you could probably use anything that would be in this shape. So, actually, my five-year-old broke it, and so I went ahead and finished breaking it so it would fit on the top or the front of the bottle, just like that. So I'm going to glue these things down right quick, and then we'll cut our piece of felt. It would be much better if I had like had done it a lot even, but I didn't really have anything to cut it with either once it got broke, so. And you can always, if you want this thing to last a little longer, use some E6000 on it, but I don't mind the hot glue, so. to wait till that dried, huh? About a second to dry. I'll set it to the side. It's gonna look like this. Now we're gonna cut us some felt. Um, I'm gonna start out with a piece that's probably gonna be a little bigger than what I need. Um, I would say because we've got to make sure that it's high enough up on the boot to to wrap underneath and fold in top so we want to leave a little bit on the bottom and this piece of felt actually is not um, big enough to go around so you have to piece a piece in the back right here but you can barely tell I mean this is going to be in the back side of your gnome so nobody's ever going to see that unless they pick it up and Look at it, but okay. Let's see. I would say about four to maybe four and a half inches is going to be what I'm going to use. Cutter is not that great. It needs a new blade on it, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. Now 
now. This feels really good and dry. Oh, and we need one more thing. We need a piece of the, uh, that fan card board. We need a piece of this cardboard from the box. And we need only a piece that's going to be able to wrap around the front. I don't know, I had a piece already cut, but I'm probably sitting on it. Okay, so I'm going to measure that, and it's probably about three, I'd say about three inches, maybe just a little bit more. Um, maybe do the whole length of the box and then cut down what you need. We'll see here in a second. Because this piece needs to wrap around your boot and it's going to have to overlap right there. Right here, it's going to overlap. So, let's see. Okay, we got a bunch to cut off. I'd say, what about, we'll start with seven inches. Us to. Oh yeah. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll take and put some hot glue on the foam core board all the way around. No, I take that back. All the way around on the back side. We're not going to put it around on the front. All the way around on the back side. And we will start. Wrapping this around, just like that. I'm gonna have to hold it in place till it, it adheres good. And it adheres to my cutting board. <laughs> And y'all, this is like the very second video that I am ever doing, ever editing, ever doing, period, as far as my crafting stuff. So y'all, please be patient with me. I'm new at this, so I am giving it my best, though. Okay? Let me get a picture of good glob of hot glue right there and be really careful And yes, I've not found my finger protectors yet, as of yet, so I'm still digging in my drawer. And then hold this down for a few minutes till it, I should say a few minutes, um, at least till it adheres good. gonna look like this so that gives us a base basically to wrap our our felt to I'm gonna use this because I don't want to get any more hot glue on that than I already have okay and we'll take our piece and we're gonna start out by doing the front sides first um, because we can go back in and fill in the back, back there. So we'll take, and about where you think it's gonna start, unless you got a bigger piece of felt that'll go all the way around, um, I'm gonna just take and start my glue right here and then run it all the way around until I get back close to the other side.
remember to leave your um, little bit that needs to be folded over so you can you can finish it up and make it a neat looking project Tight. so bad to find my finger protectors. <laughs> That's what you get when you get a five-year-old playing with your, with your crafting supplies. Oh, Lord. Yeah, you'll probably end up seeing um, the five-year-old in some of my videos with me crafting because he, once it becomes summertime or if school ends up back to e-learning, um, he does not like to let me craft alone um, he likes to craft with me he is definitely my little helper okay and it will look like this okay so now we need to um get us a little piece let's see if i can find that might fit it i don't know oh look that it's real close. Huh. You know, this part's going to be covered up right here by our, um, our little fur that goes around the top. So I may just use this piece right here and only look, yeah, that's what I'll do because it's already cut perfectly to size, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's hard to look this hot. Oops, I about forgot to pull it down. I make my seams meet up there. Just a second, guys, to grab a hot glue stick. And I love these these glue sticks that um, Dollar Tree's got. That the long ones. Oh my goodness! So nice not to have to to get up and get a glue stick every few minutes or okay and I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right here to so that will even up and come together right there hot glue everywhere Okay, now we glue this this side down. Ha, it's 
really nice. Okay, now then comes the important part about the tuck-in. We're gonna pull it back this way on the front. Let me turn around so you can see it. On the front of your, your boot, pull it down and tuck it down in the sides. Pull it down and tuck it into the side. That way, when you bring it back together, it looks just like that, comes together. So what you're gonna do is pull it over your ornament, ball, whatever you find that will fit in there, pull it down, and you can actually put some hot glue on the back side of it. So let's do that now. Hold it just a second to let it in here. Tuck it down. Tuck it down. Not too much. And you can pull it taut. And you can actually fold them over. I don't want mine. Don't like that. I want to tuck it. There we go. So cute. I love them. And I am going to try to do a tutorial um, in the next day or so, hopefully, on a num tree. So that's what I'm fixing these for is my num tree that I plan to make. Okay, so we'll go this side down right here. small bead right there in the center um, of them and pull them together. And let's get started on the bottom. what I have a makeup sponge or a makeup brush um, one of those small ones that I had bought the other day for this because I couldn't find any of the paint protectors in my Dollar Tree they were all out of them so let me grab that right quick that way I don't burn my finger anymore pull all that off. I wouldn't worry about it too much because we're going to cover it up um, with another piece of felt to finish the project off. And that's what I love about this thing. It just makes it so easy just to All that and I am gonna get rid of my black felt that's right behind me, sitting on it <laughs> and there's the piece I needed that I don't need to get okay, set that to the side And what you want to do is do a piece big enough to fit on the bottom side of your of your um, thing. I'm going to pause the video for a second. I'm going to cut this out, um, and I will be right back when um, I start gluing it on. Give me just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Got that cut out. Um, let's get it glued on, and then I'll show you what I've done with this. And hot glue the heck out of the bottom. Make sure I'm putting that on the right way. 
okay because I've got my little peanut going. Got that does all of it. nicely where it adheres and I'll go back and lay the edges in a minute when it's had a chance to adhere good. Let me go ahead and show you what I've done for the top. Okay, this is that same old box top that I've been using. Um, I cut off a strip that is ten and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. This is not it, this is it, but I'm gonna show you what I'm using. And this is that white fuzzy stuff we took off the, um, the little tree skirt. And I'm gonna take and wrap this around on this and hot glue it down. And I'm only gonna put like a little spot maybe in the front. One in the back. Look, I need to trim that off. I think I'm going to grab my scissors. Detail and scissors is a little better than the big ones I have. Because you don't want any of that showing at the top. And you could actually cut it a little bit smaller than what your material is if you want to tuck it um, over and make it a finished product. I myself don't really care if it's, because really and truly that doesn't look that bad. Okay. Now then we can take this. it in. There's a little spot right there I need to go back and fix, but once we get this on there, you'll never see it. So then we'll take this and we'll add it to the top. Kind of go just like that. And that will be your little moon boot to go with our mum tree that we're gonna fix. Um, either, I'll, what is today, Monday? Um, I'll either try to do the gnome tree maybe by Friday. Um, I'm gonna try to work with it the next day or so and then and see how, it, how I can get it to come out. But these are going to be our little boots that are going to fit right underneath it. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Um, oh, never mind. Let's take that back. I need to glue this on, don't I? And I think what I'm going to do is because right in the front area, it, I don't want it to really be glued over that. I'm going to take and just glue it to the back side and the sides, just like that, and hold her down. You can just imagine seeing my little five-year-old play with these. He's gonna, um, hopefully he don't try to put them on. But there we go. So thanks guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you like my video, um, give me a thumbs up, um, hit subscribe and um, click the bell for notifications. Um, like I said, this is only my very second and my first video wasn't even a tutorial. It was just a little small um, video showing you the tree swag that I had made. And I'm going to try um, to to post another video on how I made it or I might do since I've got my fireplace that I need to put something over um, make a video um, of how I attach the trees together 
and and make a video showing you and it's exact same principle of how I attached them so um, on that note bye guys we'll see you on the next video